in, in my book, there's a lot of genealogical research, you know, going back, Dick's family, my family, these heroic and amazing tales of people who went west. But one of the things I discovered is that Dick and Barack Obama are eighth cousins. What? Is that an amazing thing? Yes, if you go back eight generations, really? they have a common ancestor. These spiritual beings have been ruling this planet through very specific bloodlines who long ago swore allegiance to these beings in exchange for wealth and power over the human race in preparing the whole world for the ultimate spiritual deception these evil entities have planned. These bloodlines are literally able to be traced by genealogists all the way back to ancient Sumer and Babylonia and these human familiars or pets of the demonic angels have worshipped Satan and his minions under many forms from the time of Sumer right up to our present day. So there were new beings planted in the garden. Primarily, they had been created to function as sources of food for the collection of gods that had been possessed by evil. Secondarily, they were to be used as physical vessels to be possessed by the gods. Once possessed, they would be used to carry out evil's plan to spread death and destruction on earth. Incest was practiced by ancient Egyptian royalty. Mothers married sons and brothers married sisters to keep the power and the money all in the family. Like their Pharaonic ancestors, the British monarchy have a long history of incestuous inbreeding. is of an interbreeding between a non-human race, force, whatever, and humans creating a hybrid bloodline, a fusion of the two DNA. Even in Genesis, we have one version of this, but you find this all over the world in every culture. As the Bible says in Genesis, there were giants on the earth in those days or in the earth as he puts it, and also after that where the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them. And the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. These hybrid bloodlines, this interbreeding, produced the kings and queens and the elite royal families of the ancient world where they claim their right, their genetic right, to be the king or the queen or the leader because of their connection to the gods. And um, all over the world you find this. And, and what do we have today? We have the queen as head of state of this country purely because of her DNA. In Sumer you find the same. Sumer which became Babylon, which um, became Iraq, um, has ancient texts and tablets which describe the same recurring global story of this interbreeding to create this hybrid race. The hybrid race became known as the demigods, part human, part God, because of this um, 
interbreeding connection. This hybrid bloodline went off across the world, up into northern Europe. It became the power behind the Roman Empire and the creation of the Roman Church, which became, of course, global Christianity. Much more about that uh, as we go along. Uh, and everywhere it went, it became the, the royal bloodline, the, the elite bloodline, the one that became the leaders and the kings and the queens and also the, the, the people in charge behind the scenes. And it interbred with other um, such bloodlines in Northern Europe to, became the, to become the royal families and aristocratic families of Europe. And so today, these hybrid bloodlines are known as the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, and they're the ones that control the transnational corporations, governments, the banking system, the whole shebang that um, dictates and uh, controls the direction of society. Many of the United States presidents have blood relations with each other. The Bush lineage has blood ties to a great number of former presidents. George Washington, Millard Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, Abraham Lincoln, Ulysses Grant, Rutherford Hayes, James Garfield, Grover Cleveland, Teddy Roosevelt, William Taft, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Franklin Roosevelt, Richard Nixon, and Gerald Ford. Michael Tassarion points out in his work that Bush is closely related to every European monarch on and off the throne, and has kinship with every member of Britain's royal family. Bush's family tree can be documented as far back as the early 15th century. He has a direct descent from Henry III and from Henry VIII's sister Mary Tudor. He is also descended from Charles II of England. And we also find that George W. Bush is a direct descendant of Godfrey de Bullion. Godfrey was the first king of Jerusalem after he recaptured it from the Saracens, which was the name for the Islamic faith during the Middle Ages. It is interesting to note that the current occupation of the United States in the Middle East was re-established by the same family. George Bush Sr. in 1991 and again by George Bush Jr. in 2003. George Bush Jr. is then found to be a cousin to both opposing candidates of his two terms in office, Al Gore and John Kerry. Democratic President Barack Obama also has blood ties with George W. Bush, as well as Gerald Ford, Lyndon Johnson, Harry Truman, James Madison, and the British Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill. On the opposing side of the 2008 presidential ballot, John McCain is descended from Robert the Bruce, King William I of Scotland, and also Godfrey de Bullion. Let me take you through this, branch by branch. The 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault. <laughs> Vice President Dick Cheney, the man who's only a heartbeat away from the presidency, is actually a blood relation. He's President Bush's ninth cousin once removed. Cheney's cousin Barack Obama is also Bush's 11th cousin and the ninth cousin of Brad Pitt. But we're only just getting started. President Lincoln was President Bush's seventh cousin five times removed. And Bush shared more than just a ballot with John Kerry. That's right, they're ninth cousins twice removed. There's also royalty in the Bush bloodline. Princess Diana was Bush's 11th cousin twice removed. And then there's this bombshell. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Sure, she may have been singing to JFK, but what about GWB? He is, after all, her ninth cousin, three times removed. He's also related to Playboy founder Hugh Hefner, even Pocahontas, and Vlad the Impaler. Trace the family tree far enough, and you get Madonna, Celine Dion, and Tom Hanks. 